Hello and welcome for this new tutorial. Today we will discover the Shuttle Express from Contour Design. Shuttle Express is a programmable and multimedia controller that brings the full power of audio and video editing right to your fingertips. So as you see, I just received the package I will now open it and we will discover together what is inside. It's the first time that I open it, so I discover at the same time than you are. First we see a white uh, box inside you find the Shuttle Express. It seems robust, nice design. If I open it you have the documentation as well as a CD for the installation for the driver. Now I will take the Shuttle Express. So it's slim. You also have a USB cable which is long enough so in case your computer is not just near you, you have enough cable. This is the opposite side. So I said slim before, it's the case, and if you don't have a lot of space on your desktop, then you can put it on the left if you are using your mouse in the right end. And now let's see how to install it. Okay, now we will discover the Shuttle Pro version 2. Once again, a multimedia controller which has much more buttons than the other one. It's a little bit bigger than the Shuttle Express. You also see the box in which I received it, very nice box. So you have uh, 15 buttons on it. Let's open it and we will discover the Shuttle Pro version 2. You also find this uh, white box. I will open it and inside I find the Shuttle Pro version 2 with the 15 buttons as well as the wheel and the jogger. Nice design, seems also very robust. Same than the for the Shuttle Express. In addition, I also have a small paper on which you have a printout of uh, various commands that you can put uh, in the button. So play, rewind, save, delete and so on. You also have the documentation which is in English one side for Apple Mac and another side for uh, computer PC Microsoft and finally you will find the CD for the installation the drivers in fact you will find that uh, this uh, CD can be replaced by a download file once again the USB cable is long enough so you can put your computer not near your mouse Regarding the Shuttle Pro, it's very nice. You have the end which is going on top of it. You have full access to all buttons. And we will see later on that you can remove the top of the button just to put these small labels we see before end. Of course you have uh, six buttons where you cannot put any labels. You have to remember them. Just a small comparison between Shuttle Express and Shuttle Pro version 2. As I showed you before, you have some small labels, multiple ones, as well as empty ones. So you need just a small tool to remove the top of the button, 
anything can be used to remove the button quite easy to remove then you find the one you would like to insert you just need to remove it from the paper very easy and then you install it on top of the button it's my first time so it's not so easy maybe it's better to put it inside the button instead of the cover of the button and you press on it and that's done this is just an example maybe we won't keep uh, the play button here but this is just to show you how it looks like okay now you have uh, you can redo it uh, with all the buttons and uh, we will see how to install the shuttle okay now we will show you how to install it first step I put it on the left of my keyboard because I'm a right hand user the mouse is on the right so depending of your system you can either plug in the shuttle or you can use the CD to install the driver I would uh, recommend to um, plug it in if you have uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista that's just what I've done right now you see on the uh, bottom right that uh, it discovered an USB device and once it's finished we will install the driver I would strongly advise to go to the Contour Design website and we will download the latest driver that's the most uh, easiest way to do you go to retail sit site sorry <laughs> and then you will find the menu support downloads you click on it and you will access shuttle express or shuttle version 2 press go button and you will access the menu where you can select what you would like to download either the user manual or the latest driver which is currently the latest one is 2.81 I will select it and press on go you save the download let's say on the desktop and now we will install it on the desktop you will extract your files because it's a zip files you double click on it and then you will choose the executable file for your information you have a readme.txt that you can read you also have all the presets which will be used later on now I run the executable file there are various informations which are shown right now what I discover at the same time than you are discovering uh, you have few information regarding um, contour design and it also says that you need to close all other applications you also need to disable your antivirus software that's what I'm doing right now as well as few stuff which are running behind and once it's done you can continue and you can click on next you will read the disclaimer if you agree you click next you tick the box and you click next you have the path where the program will be installed you click next and then you are ready for the installation it will take few minutes afterwards we will be ready to load the settings because for Pinnacle Studio or Avid Studio you have the possibility to load some settings which are available on our website you also have a tutorial which will help you to understand how it works how to install it and also uh, we you will have access to all settings file for Pinnacle as well as Avid Studio now it's finished I can tick this box and click finish and here we are in the control panel 
where I can select uh, which program I would like to set. You have uh, hundreds of programs. For each one you can uh, set uh, different parameters. You of course have Pinnacle Studio with various uh, parameters that uh, you will uh, see later on in our tutorial. In the second menu you have uh, some sequence that you can also use, uh, sequence of um, various uh, buttons and some information regarding contour design. Now I will load the settings from uh, the website so on our website you can download the files you extract them and you will have access to three kind of files one for shuttle express another one for Avid Studio and latest one for a uh, former shuttle which are called shuttle uh, version 1 Avid Studio V1 which is for older shuttle so you can only use sh um, Avid Studio which is the one for the latest uh, shuttle so now we will import the file you choose the correct path and you import the settings of course you will have the possibility to change uh, one button uh, parameter functionality one or multiple buttons it's up to you now you decide which what which one you would like to to choose to change sorry and once it's done you apply the change and say okay now I will launch Avid Studio and let's start with a small sequence you see that if I play with the jogger with a shuttle. I go fast forward and I can also uh, go uh, one image by one image. <coughs> you also have the possibility to use the button to insert marker. So marker in marker out this is done by pressing the correct button and now what you have to do is to try it uh, with uh, multiple uh, I, I will load here the demo movie of uh, Avid Studio you see I'm playing it with the shuttle you can go uh, forward one image by one image as well Well, it's very easy to use, very practical. Personally, I'm using it daily now. I love it. It's very, very intuitive system, and it uh, helps to to edit the movie uh, much faster than I used to. Okay, thank you very much for having a look to this tutorial, and have a nice day. And sorry for my pronunciation. Bye bye.